gardien debout et à l'ouvrage tu as conquis ta terre et ton poids so after a whole day of cooking I finally get to taste what I actually made um, so here we go guys I hope you guys get to taste it too so this is actually so good I mean you guys should try it mm. Mm, it's actually really good all of you should try it well thanks Oh my god. Wow, you guys were right. It's it's really good. Anna, you need to try this. Thanks. You guys weren't kidding. That is a delicious dish. How'd you make it? Yeah, funny you asked. Um, yeah, what I put in there wasn't much. I put like okra and eggplant with some peanut butter with a handful of green. And I also uh, boiled it with water for like uh, 30 minutes or so and then yeah at the end I just put salt pepper with some spices and that was really it. I tried to search up the history of Darba but unfortunately there wasn't much I can come up with. It could probably be because in the past they used to pass down the tradition orally um, but it's such an attainable dish. Um, it's mostly vegetables which are grown by the population. Um, there's no meat, which means that there's no restriction for any individuals. Um, it's a dish that everybody can get together and enjoy together, just the way that we did. Um, and then I, I personally felt like the peanut butter was that one ingredient that gave it the flavor, you know? Um, but yeah, I really liked it in general. It was amazing. Did you guys know that the rava is all plant-based? Well, obviously you knew, but it's all plant-based because a lot of the foods that the farmers in Chad rely on are all the ones that they cultivate themselves. They can nourish themselves and sustain themselves on what they farm, which is incredible. Yeah. Did you know that they also have an irrigation system? It's a natural irrigation system from Lake Chad. So not only can they sustain themselves on what they grow, they have a natural irrigation system and they have natural mineralized soil that provides their foods with something extra and they get extra vitamins and minerals from it. It's really cool. Yeah. And the rapa is a dish that's so unique because it doesn't represent people like people from high class nor low class eat it only. It's it's a it's a dish that represents equality and it did not it does not discriminate based on your economic status, which is just it's beautiful, it really is. Yeah. It's it's really good too. Like the okra that you put in it has really made it thickened as well as the peanut sauce really gives it a lot of flavor. It's really good. Mm, yeah, absolutely. I think what's also so cool about this recipe is that it can really remind people of home. You know, it uses local ingredients that are grown by the people living in Chad. So I'm sure you can even taste the richness of the soil that you mentioned in the food itself. And I think that's really cool. Plus, every family has its own version. And because it's such a national food, it something that everybody kind of has a personal connection to and you can really taste that feeling of home through the food and I think that's really really special. <laughs>